Greetings, architecture students. This is another Revit 2021 video. It is a user level certification training video based off of the Revit testing objectives. Uh, Autodesk does not sponsor this channel in any shape, form, or fashion, and I just do this on my own. I do it for my high school students, but of course anyone is welcome to watch. But what we're going to do in this video is we're going to look at how to use topographic surfaces, how to establish a topographic surface for your model. And we'll start with a new project, Imperial Architectural Template. And we open up, we start out on level one, where we will draw a floor. We'll just use the generic 12-inch floor that's already loaded for us. And we're just going to draw a, uh, using the line tool, we're just going to draw a 50 by 30 um, floor. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do after we have, we've got our floors, we're going to go to the site level. So over here in your project browser, just double click on site. And now you're into site. Okay, from here, what we want to do is go over to our project browser and uh, go to our site level. We're going to double click on site. Whoops, make sure it's a good double click. Then we're going to go to the massing and site tab and then to the topo surface. Once we click on topo surface, the tool is already started for us and it's ready for us to start placing points to establish an elevation at that specific point. Uh, right now, you should have it set at negative six inches. So go ahead and set your elevation right here in the options bar to negative six inches. Now, why do we do that? We do that because of code. Because if we look at 404, 1.6, okay, so I'm going to go down here to chapter four, section four, and it's uh, 0.1.6. And that's going to be down here a little bit more right here. Okay, height above finished grade, right here in the code manual. And it says, uh, concrete and masonry foundation walls shall extend above the finished grace grade adjacent to the foundation at all points at a minimum of four inches where masonry veneer is used and a minimum of six inches elsewhere. So if you're using brick or stone or anything like that, you can actually have four foot of space because there is going to be like a brick ledge on that foundation, but four foot of space um, between where that brick starts and where the earth is. So there's going to be about four inches of exposed foundation that you can see. Um, and then if you're using wood or anything else is six inches. Now these figures are minimums. This is minimum. So I wouldn't plan to always go with four inches or just go with six inches all the way around. Okay, so that's why we set it at negative six inches. So the, the soil is going to be six inches below the top of the foundation. And there's many different ways you can do this. The way I do it is I just place a dot. There we go. And I just kind of go at the corners at this negative six inches. Um, you can do more than that if you want to. You can put some little uh, dots in between those if you want to. It's not going to hurt anything. Okay. And you might end up having to do that depending on what you do with the rest of your elevations. Okay. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of go out away from this and start placing dots out away from this. Now, within the first 10 feet of the foundation, the level of the grade has to um, slope six inches. And let me show you where that is at in the code. So going back to the code, we're going to be looking at code number R401.3. So we got to go all the way back up here to the top, 401. Point three drainage okay because that's what that slope is for is to help water drain away from the structure and if we click on drainage we'll get it right here and right here it says surface drainage shall be diverted to a storm sewer conveyance or other approved point of collection that does not create a hazard lots shall be graded to drain surface water away from the foundation walls the grade shall fall a minimum of six inches within the first 10 feet okay so, coming up a little closer, I mean, what is 10 feet? Well, 10 feet, you can measure it if you want to. You click on our measure tool, just kind of get a brief measure of about 10 feet. 
maybe go out this way. So 10, 11 feet, somewhere around there. You know, you probably want to go a little bit further when you're planning just to make sure you fall within the code requirements. So about out to here is where we want to start placing our points. So I'm going to click on place point again, and we're going to go on about here, and we're going to make it fall an additional six inches. So actually, I'm going to put a negative 12 inches in that box, or negative one foot. There, 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 and there. Okay, I think that one might be a little bit close. So if you look at it from a distance and it looks like some are kind of close, you can actually move those. Okay, I'm going to click on that and just move it right up here. Now you have to hit the escape button to kind of get out of the tool in order to do that. Now the rest, of course, is up to you. I would not shape the uh, topo surface in any way that would actually run water into the foundation. Okay, so if I place some higher elevations out here, that wouldn't be good. Now what I could do is I could just leave it all at one foot and just span out from around the building. Okay, and go out here, and let's just say we got lucky and have a perfectly level lot. And then, of course, after we're done, we click on the green check mark. We can go to our 3D view to check out our work. But you can see how my foundation sticks above that, that topo surface. And, and it will, it's really hard to see the slope from this angle. You can almost kind of see it right here. I'll show you a different angle where you can see the slope. Let's go up to level one. We'll just put a section view right through here. And we'll go into it. And here you can see the slope. Here's the slab. Okay, and then here's the slope away from the, the foundation. That's what you want to achieve. Now, the further you get away from the foundation, if the elevation of the property does increase, then, of course, you can... Um, you, you can have higher elevations. You just don't want all your elevations real high all around the building to where all the water drains into where the building is, even if you do have this particular offset right here, because um, that's just going to drive water into the foundation. So typically, if you look in most of your neighborhoods, just go ahead and ride around some neighborhoods and look and see how the houses, um, if they do have higher elevations, are typically to one side or to the back. And then the front elevation will typically slope into the street. So it'll actually slope a bit more in the front and do something like this. Okay, edit surface right here. And let's place some more points. And these are going to be, let's say, negative, just so we can see a big difference here, negative 10 feet. Okay, so this would be out to where the street is. I'm just going to place a few right there. Click the green check mark. And let's go back into our level, our section. Now you can see how that slope goes down like this. Okay, and then let's say there's a street out here somewhere. So all the water would then drain into the street. That's how you need to do your topo surface in any project that you work on. And again, this is how you use topo surfaces. Um, and just like I did before where, where I edited the topo surface, you can always go in and edit it right there. You can edit any of these elevations. Okay, I can uh, tap on this elevation right here and make it a negative five foot. Okay, and I can tap on this one make it also a negative five and that makes it a more gradual slope in the front of the house than we had before okay so that's topo surfaces for you guys and um and again that is covered on the certification test i'm not sure what the actual question or what it will be like oh yeah remember one thing is to click that like button down below the video so that more people can actually see this video thank you